Alrighty, so if you've watched my previous video on how to remove this one and put it back in again, now this video is on how to set the spring tension under here. So what you first have to decide is what boost you're going to be running at, and then we set up the spring preload under what boost you're at. So, you know how to remove this already if you watched my previous video. Now we've removed this, I'm just going to paint it in white paint pen, and what we're going to do is reinstall it, and then set this up to the boost we're running at, take it out again and we'll see a scratch mark of where the pin is running on. So if we're running not enough spring tension you'll find it runs up onto the overfueling. You'll see how it's got a ramp then it flattens out and then it goes up up again. So if you run too much downward travel, so you have not enough spring preload, uh, it'll go into overfueling mode so it'll start to cut your fuel back. Now we don't want that obviously, so what we have to do is set up the spring tension until we're just hitting the peak fueling and then that's max fuel and she'll drive really really nicely. So if you just guesstimate it and just adjust it, drive, adjust it, drive, you might find you're going to the overfueling and you won't even notice um, until you're right up near top RPM and it starts to drop off. So I've painted it with white paint pen <clears throat> so now I'm going to reinstall it. If you find that it's not going back in um, it might be the follower is sticking out a little bit too much so what you can do is just get a allen key and push it back in a little bit so what we're going to do is sit it back in there like that. Push it down. Now that's all back installed. Now I'm setting my fueling to max. So I'll put the M over here. Reinstall the cap on. And then I'll show you the contraption that I've made to set up your boost. Alrighty, so now that I've reinstalled it and put the housing back on, I've come up with this contraption here. So what it is is just a bicycle pump. And then I've modified a car tyre valve, so the tyre valve goes in there and then a boost line can go in there. Then the boost line runs to a T-piece. One side T-piece goes to a boost gauge and then the other side goes to the diaphragm. So what we're going to do is operate the bicycle pump and operate it to the boost level that you're going to run at. So I'm going to be running at one bar, which is about 14.5, 14.7 psi. So I'm going to operate it to hit one bar for a few times. Then I'm going to take the cap back off, take the um, aneroid pin out, and the follow-up pin will scratch a little line, and you'll be able to see what it's actually injecting at. So if it's going up on the ramp, we're going to have to increase the tension of the spring a little bit with the clicker wheel. Um, so to increase spring tension, you're going to have to turn the clicker wheel anti-clockwise, which will come, make it come up, which will increase spring tension. And then just keep trialing area doing that until you get a nice ramp. So I'm going to operate it for a sec and I'll take it out and show you what it looks like. Alrighty guys, so I've removed it now and you can see where I've painted it. Uh, you can see a scratch mark of where the follow up pin's been riding. So you can see that I'm not going into overfueling mode, it's just stopping shy of it. So that's really good. Um, that's a pretty good fueling now. If it were to ride up on that overfueling mode we can increase the spring tension to stop it going down as far um, or otherwise if it's the ladder if it's coming up not enough if it's not going down far enough we can um, decrease the spring tension but I'm pretty happy with that so I'm just going to install it back in now and um, set her up and start doing a little bit of road tuning so thanks for watching the video guys if you've got any questions um, write in the comments I can make a few more videos if you want some other stuff um, and yeah thanks for watching see you later